This is the solution to exercise 4a. In this exercise we're going to start looking at the Bluemix DevOps services site. So the first thing to do is make sure you've got your browser open and you're logged into Bluemix. And the first thing we're going to do is move into the catalog section and deploy the node Cloudant Web Starter. So just enter a name and keep the defaults. And then just create the application. And then you need to wait until the application has finished staging. There we are, we've got an application that's running. So from the overview section, we're now gonna go and hit the add git button. But before you do, <clears throat> you do need to make sure that cookies are enabled in your browser. So whatever browser you're using, and here on Firefox, you find that from the options tab, and then the privacy tab, and then under the history section, if you drop down and use custom, you'll just need to check that accept cookies is ticked. So once you've done that, just hit the add git button. And this is going to push all the sample code into a newly created repository within the Bluemix DevOps services site. So just make sure that the populate button remains checked and then hit continue. Okay, so that's now complete. So we close that. And you'll now notice that we've got the Git URL. So if you have an IDE that you use to develop, you can now link to the Git repository directly using that URL. But we're going to use the DevOps services site. So we're going to click the edit code button. And this is going to jump to the Bluemix DevOps services site and open up the newly created project. So you can see here, we've got all of the code for that project. And in the next exercise, we'll be looking at editing code. But we're now going to look at the build and deploy settings. So as well as editing code, DevOps services allows you to manage the delivery pipeline. So within this section, you can see that we've got one build stage and we've got one deploy stage by default. If we just open up the configuration quickly, you'll see from the input tab that input is coming from our source code manager repository, which is our Git. And we're looking at the master branch. And when any change is pushed into the master branch, we're going to run the build. Cancelling that and then going into the deploy stage. And this stage, again, from the input tab, is going to take the build artifacts from the previous stage. And then whenever that stage completes, this stage will run. And this stage is actually going to deploy into Bluemix, into my space, this application. So whenever we push any change into the master branch of the Git repository, we're going to build the application and then deploy the application automatically. From this page, we can also kick off that process manually, and that's what we're going to do now. 
So just from the build stage, if you just click the run stage, you'll see that that stage is now running and it's going to kick off a build. So it's going to check all the code out of the Git repository and build that. And then once that's finished, it'll start the deploy. While we're building or deploying, we can look at the logs of the current job. We can also look at the history of previous jobs. So there we go, we've now finished the deploy. And what you'll see is we can now see the state of the application within our Bluemix environment. So it's running. That's the URL if I want to launch the application and I can go and look at the runtime logs if I want to. And that concludes the solution to exercise 4A.